answers and comments so the question we just asked was what are the differences between a general ledger and a set of books so in terms of the usage they are pretty much the same and there is no difference between a ledger and a set of books at all however the term set of books used to be there until oracle applications release 11i however in release 12i the functional architecture has changed and a number of things got impacted out of that even the nomenclature of the setups have changed so the set of books what used to be called in 11i being started called by a term called as ledger however the functionality of both are one and the same so in set of books you maintain your chart of accounts your accounting entries even the same thing in ledger you maintain your chart of accounts and all your accounting entries from all the sub ledger applications so here the sub ledger applications i'm referring to let's say account payables account receivables fixed assets cash management projects and so on so these are the different sub ledger applications or you can call it as modules which pose the accounting entries to a ledger based in general ledger so until 11i that ledger used to be called as set of books which is seems to be like a technical term whereas a ledger is more a functional term a accounting term and its functionality is exactly same as what is done in accounting so once those entries get posted from sub ledger applications they come into general ledger module in a specific ledger under which it get posted and then you can close the ledger at the end of the period now in terms of functional architecture the way it looks like is i will take you to my slide so in release 12i the way you define your ledger is first thing you do it is you define the legal entities so legal entities are nothing but your companies established for example we've got a company called as assure consultants limited that has been established in new zealand and it's got its own tax id so legal entities are what they are nothing but the companies which are responsible for filing taxes which are responsible for paying money to their employees and then paying the taxes on behalf of them okay so in bracket let me write companies and under these legal entities you have ledgers and you can have one or more ledgers but the ledgers that you have is one is a primary ledger and you can have multiple secondary ledgers for example the primary ledger is in nzd for your statutory requirements and your second ledger could be in other currencies for reporting purposes so that's the concept of legal entities and ledger more about this you can take my course in release 12i oracle financials general ledger functional foundation now on the contrary the set of books is pretty much the same thing here you define legal entity and within that you define the set of books there are a lot of things goes beneath a set of books or ledgers which is commonly called as chart of accounts so chart of accounts made up of three components which is a calendar a currency and your sub ledger accounting convention so which could be on a accrual basis or cash basis so that's what as a set of books is made up of and the same thing even the ledger is made up of a calendar a currency and a third c which is your sub ledger accounting convention which could be either your accrual basis or your cash basis 
so that answers the question of what are the differences between a lecture and a set of books